The Free State Project is a geo-ideological movement to attract 20,000 liberty lovers to the state of New Hampshire. We've been around for 10 years. The idea is that 20,000 people have to pledge to move, and then once we reach that, people have five years to move. But a lot of us were like, we're not going to wait. Like, we think this is a great idea, you know. So about 1,200 people have actually moved to New Hampshire in, in anticipation of triggering the move. So we're already here and we're already making changes. When I first heard about the Free State Project, I thought they were interesting. I wasn't completely sure that they would actually have the government paying attention or concerned about them. What I found surprising in the last election is that one of the questionnaires that I was supposed to answer as, a, as an elected official, when people are asking you what's your position on things, there was a statement. Are you a free stater? Do you have any association with the free staters? And these are questions that if the organization wasn't actually posing a risk to the establishment, nobody would care or mention it. People move here because they're seeking more freedom. New Hampshire is a you know very low tax state. There's no personal income tax. There's no sales tax. It's a really beautiful place. There's several reports that say it's the freest state in America because of the low taxes, because it's you know great for families, it's really safe. We have a lot of business people who've moved out, a lot of you know sort of homeschooling Christian people moved out. Um, that's really one of the places we've been able to build a lot of liaisons with locals, um, where people you know are looking for school choice. Um, so all of those things, and you know, so so people just decided they were they were going to move. The way that I'm living now, there's a noticeable difference in government intrusion into my daily life, honestly. But there is an, an atmosphere, an aura of freedom. Uh, we don't have a mandatory seatbelt law. We're one of only two or three states without mandatory insurance laws, mandatory helmet laws. Just, it just goes on and on. I say to people all the time who ask me why I associate with free staters, I said, well, you know, if we look back at the way that our nation was founded and the Constitution was constructed, it was an impossible vision at the time. They went out and said, we want to go and have a government that actually is accountable to the people, which was unheard of. And what they wanted to do was protect the people from the expansion of government that history had always seen. Um, we're seeing a lot of that um, recur over time. And most people don't understand they can have a voice that says we're going to stop that. And the Free State Project is empowering a lot of people to say, we can engage and do it. The ideas of liberty are spreading way faster than anticipated. So we're sort of building something that's almost better than Galt's Gulch if you're Randian or just an actual functioning libertopia.